Hello Internet and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In today's episode we will be talking about how to install third party mods for the game. I'll give you some tips, point you in a decent direction, but more importantly I will tell you the things that you really really should avoid. Now the process of installing a third party mod is pretty simple and straightforward. However there are many issues surrounding mods and I really need to give you a pretty lengthy warning here up front. So in Cataclysm there are two types of mods. There are first party mods, also known as in repo mods, which are distributed with the game. This means that regardless of which version of the game you download, as long as it's been from like the last few years, it will include some mods that come with the game. These are in general the best mods for you to play because they, if they come with the game, they're pretty much guaranteed to work with whatever version you downloaded. But those are first party mods and that's not really the target of today's video. Now third party mods are created by someone other than the dev team and they are distributed individually by uh, whoever is distributing them. Now the main problem with third party mods is that 99%, 95% of all mods that have ever been created for Cataclysm are now outdated and they no longer work. This is sad, I know, but people make these mods and then they never bother to keep them working. And the core game of Cataclysm actually evolves constantly moving forward every day of every week and sometimes those updates break old older mods. For instance, maybe a year and a half, two years ago or so, there was a change to the way that symbols are written in the game. Because of this, any mod that included locations required someone to update them. And again, the sad fact is that most of these mods never get an update or maintained in any way. So anytime you find a mod somewhere online, you need to be aware that it will probably not work with your version of the game. More than that, unless you know something about how Cataclysm mods work, you're not going to be able to fix it yourself. Now, I'm a pretty nice guy in general, as are many of the the developers and the people who contribute to the game, but most of us are not going to talk you through how to fix a broken mod. I'm not saying don't ever use third party mods, I'm just saying that you really need to set your expectations that the mod is just not going to work for you. At best it won't work at all, and at worst it will actually prevent you from booting up your world. But anyway, let's move on now to the process by which you can install a third party mod. You're going to need two things here, uh, first you're going to need to locate a mod that you want to use. And second, you're going to need to know where you installed the game. Finding mods is usually done on the forum or Reddit or really any social place where members of the community talk to each other. When you find one, you're most likely going to find it hosted on GitHub. If it's somewhere else, you really need to exercise caution in downloading, as you should with all things that you download from the internet. But if it's on GitHub, it should be as easy as clicking the green code button and then selecting to download as a zip file. Well, I guess I lied earlier because you're going to need something also to unzip the file, but you probably already know how to do that. Now, most mods that you find on the forum or whatever, they will be outdated and they probably won't work. Mombun, however, has a repository on GitHub that contains links to quite a few mods, most or all of which should work at the time of this recording. This is a place to check out if you're looking for something that will hopefully work right out of the box, and I of course will link to this repository in the description down below. And this is the part of the video where I was going to teach you how to install mods using the third party launcher. This is probably going to annoy some of you, but I'm not going to be doing that. Now the reason for this is because the launcher historically has contained broken mods. Even though people made an effort to prune old mods from this list, it is already outdated once again. Please do not install mods through the launcher. Just don't do it. If you're on an experimental version, there is a very high chance that any mod you download will not work with your version of the game. And I want to be clear about this because people seem to always be confused. Mods are not broken because the dev team does a bad job. This has nothing to do with the devs or with the contributors who contribute to the game. Mods in the launcher being broken is the responsibility of two other parties. First, the mod creator did not bother to keep the mod up to date. That is one of the largest problems and this leads to them being broken over time. And second, the people who run the launcher have not made an effort to keep this list pruned and containing only working mods. Now don't get me wrong, this is difficult because the game develops so quickly. There basically is no way that the launcher people could guarantee a mod would work with your version of the game because the game changes all the time. But again, to be clear, this is not the dev team's fault, it's not my fault, it's not the contributor's fault. So please stop laying these issues at our feet and please, for the love of God or whatever deity you subscribe to, do not download mods from the launcher. Now with all of that said, let's jump back into how to install a mod manually. Regardless of how you obtain the mod, once you've secured it, wherever you downloaded it from, navigate to the directory where you installed Cataclysm. 
You're going to want to enter your data folder and then go into the mods folder. You should now be able to paste your extracted folder here. Now use common sense if extracting buries things like an extra folder deep that could cause issues uh, with the game loading the mod. So make sure that it's the correct directory. And if you've used the launcher to install the mod, none of this is necessary. It automatically puts the mod where it needs to be. Anyway, for the vast majority of mods, this is all that you need to do. Some mods, however, do have special install instructions. The graphical overmap mod, for example, requires you to do a little bit of extra work. If your mod contains a readme, I highly, highly recommend that you read it, it may contain important information on how to install the mod. If you already had the game open at this time, you're going to need to close it and restart for the mod to appear. But once you boot up, navigate to creating a new world and the mod should be there. Remember that mods do not magically appear in your existing games. They're added when you first create a world. Also remember that where the mod appears in this list is determined by whoever made the mod. So you might have to tab through blacklist or balance to find whatever you just installed. Now, if your newly installed mod is not in this list, well, there's about a a million reasons why it might not work. Uh, the easy way to say this is that if it's not in the list, then your mod is outdated and no one is keeping it up to date. This is not a video where I talk you through the many, many problems or reasons behind why your mod is not working. I'm not here to help you fix broken mods. If your mod is broken, honestly, just you have to get over it and not bother with it at all. Most likely it's just going to lead to a lot of headaches for you unless you understand how mods work. Like I said, most of us in the community are nice people, but we're probably not going to spend the time helping you work through your specific problem. Even if you manage to hack together the mod into a usable product, it will probably still have some elements that do not work and may throw errors or crash your game. Now I do have a little bit more to say about mods. There is currently a big list of mods out there that is being called a mod pack. Now I have been torn on how to talk about this, but I do have some advice. So first of all, what is the mod pack? Well, basically, as far as I know, someone has gone through, picked up a lot of really old mods that don't work anymore, and they fixed them enough that they will run with current versions of the game. Now on the surface, this sounds like a really good thing, and I even admire that someone has gone through and fixed up these mods that were otherwise abandoned and left behind. The problem is that they have released it as a mod pack. Now, if you've played other games like Minecraft, a mod pack usually means it's a collection of mods that all work together and expand similar things, or at the very least are cohesive enough that it makes the game more enjoyable. Now, the problem with this particular mod pack for Cataclysm is that the mods are just completely random and do not go well together at all. These mods have been fixed just enough that they don't throw errors when you load up the game, but many of them are completely unbalanced or contain ridiculous things. Many of them conflict with each other, adding overlapping locations or items. They are not cohesive, they do not go together, and they have no meaningful theme among all of them. So if you want to install mods from this mod pack, I cannot stop you. I will provide a link in the description down below because people are going to ask for it. But you really, really need to understand that you should not install a whole mess of these mods together. One or two, fine, you know, whatever, I can't stop you. But if you install 100 plus mods to your game, it will be completely different from vanilla and the balance is, is going to be way out of whack and no one in the community will be able to give you advice. I can't tell you how many times someone comes into the Discord, they complain about something and then we have to tell them that it's because they have a bunch of these mods installed. I've even seen someone come in complaining about the game and then reveal that they had over 120 mods on their current playthrough. When you do this, it completely changes the game and no one can help you with your issues or with questions that you have. If you're new to the game, please, for just please, play vanilla. Don't install mods until you have a handle on the core game. Don't be that person that complains about the game when the real problem is that you've installed a ton of mods. When game Game balance is broken, it is not the fault of the dev team. To be perfectly honest, it is the fault of the mod creator and it is your fault as the player for installing 120 mods in your game. Now this all may sound very aggressive, but I'm just so tired of people coming into Discord or whatever and trashing the game only to reveal that they're using a bunch of mods that ruin their experience. The vanilla game is built to be vanilla. The balance, the monsters, the systems, it's all built to work together and when you add a bunch of mods, it completely breaks that experience. But anyway, that's enough of me being on my soapbox. The reality is most people stopped watching the video several minutes ago and, and most of you, honestly, you're just gonna ignore my advice anyway. Those of you who are smart enough to listen to an experienced player telling you something important, well, thanks, you know, and I'll be back with more tutorial content in the next video. Hit that thumbs up or uh, drop me a sub if you're interested, and I will see you in the next video.